Hello, hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to properly execute a stability ball crunch. Now with my clients, this is one of the exercises I see done um, poorly most infrequently. It just takes a little bit of tinkering to make it effective. So grab your stability ball. You also want to make sure with your ball, when you have seat on it, it's about a 90 degree angle from your ankles, your knees, and your hips. So if your ball is too big, you're going to be seated where your knees are slightly below hip angle. And if it's too, uh, too low, it's going to be like sitting in a beanbag chair. So you want to have that ball inflated nicely. Scoot it on back a little bit. So I typically like to start a little bit lower on my ball just for safety. And at all times, your shoulders should be, should be higher than your hips. Now, if you're modifying, you might cross your arms over your chest. I find to make it harder, you take the elbows behind the ears, elbows back, chin the chest for separate as though you had a piece of fruit or a tennis ball in between them. Start with tension in your core lift up, come back to that tension. So what I see sometimes is this. That's a vacation, yeah? You wanna keep that constant contraction. If it feels like it's a little bit too easy, start walking yourself back so you have more of a lever arm to lift. Now notice I'm either looking at a 45 degree angle or up to the ceiling, not at my belly, because if you look at your belly, this is what you're gonna end up doing. So think long lever, harder still, you might consider extending one arm with hand behind the head, maybe the other, or maybe interlacing them, and then you really have some leverage going here. Hopefully you feel that, yeah? And try not to use those legs. This is all about the core. So there you have it. I hope that was informative and helpful.